We are in Newton, Texas with new USC running back commit, DeAnthony Gatson. DeAnthony, big day. Yes, How's it feel? It feels good. We're going to get this process over with. We're going to let everybody know who I'm, where I'm going and just let it be part of the USC family. And, and why, why was USC the choice? Uh, USC the choice because when I, I felt the love and the support from all the coaches, all the players, and it just it was surreal just being in LA and just get the opportunity to play for LA, I couldn't pass it up. When you when you left for your visit, did you know that they were a top choice, or did they really kind of crystallize on that trip? Yeah, so that was in my top five, my top three actually. Yeah, I dropped the top five, but it was really the top three. That, that was in my top three, and I just knew. Well, Darwin Balo told me when, when I when I get on campus, it's gonna feel real. He, he wasn't lying. So so when you went to that trip though, you didn't know for sure it was gonna be USC, right? I didn't know I didn't know until I, until I just stepped on campus. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, I just see myself playing here. What was the moment when it kind of hit you? The moment, it, it was, it was, uh, was it? It was, I think it was lunch. We had lunch and like everybody was dancing, having a good time. And like they just like made a little dance, a walkway for everybody to walk through. And just, I was like, oh yeah, it's lit out here. That's when I felt like I was going to be there. So I mentioned we're in Newton, Texas, small town, less than 3,000 people, okay. East Texas. Los Angeles, a little bit different. Yes, sir. How, how ready are you for the LA lifestyle, and and uh, what kind of struck you about it when you were out there? Uh, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it because I'm a people person. I like to meet new people, see new people every day, and it's just what struck me when I was out there, just how big the city is, and how many opportunities you get, what, and what you can do just in the city, and it just stuck out to me. You mentioned Darwin Barlow. Um, Transfers from TCU to USC last week. We talked about him before, but for the fans, kind of explain your bond, your connection with him. Uh, me and Darwin, we played, we played together my freshman year, that year they won state. Uh, he's just unbelievable, man. He pushed me every day, on and off the field, takes me, update me. He's just kind of like my best friend. Like he just, he might, I look up to him. I want to be just like him, be better than him. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. just, it's just crazy. That uh, 2018 state champ sign behind you, that was the team you guys were on together. Yes, um, how did you become close initially? What was kind of the, the moment where you all bonded? Uh, one day we was out here, uh, we was out here working out and like he, he told me, he was like, uh, bro, you could really be good at this. You could really be good. And I was like, you think so? And he was like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna push you every day and you're gonna get the best out of you. And that's when I just fell in love with him. And then when he graduated, you guys kept talking a lot? Yes, and sir, yes, sir. Following him, following him the whole way through TCU, following him, we're gonna keep following him. That's my guy. So, at what point did he tell you he's going to USC? Uh, he told me, he told me the day when, when like it was the second day I was in LA. He texted me, he was like, uh, "Don't tell nobody, but I'm, I'm committed to USC." And I just, I was like, "Oh yeah." And what impact did that have on you? Uh, it was big because me feeling LA and him being out there with me, it was just awesome. Like, oh yeah, I got my guy with me. About the bar, and, and so the cool thing is that you were already pretty serious about them, yep. and that was just kind of like an extra bonus to kind of push it over the edge a little bit. Yep. Um, how do you think uh, it'll help you having him there with you? Oh, it helped me out because I'm, I, I'll be new to this college life, and he already been there to TCU, and so it'll be, it'll be like a good, good, good little fit for me having him beside me, knowing him, knowing he can show me what to do and all that. Well, going back to Newton, Texas, tell us about this place. Like I said, small town. This kind of people have never been here. How would you describe it or explain it? Uh, Newton is just Newton is football town, small, not a lot of people. But on Friday nights, the games are lit, stands packed, the the, and the atmosphere is just crazy, and Newton is just. If you want to, if you want to play football, come to Newton. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. That's all I'm gonna say, man. Newton is different. It's just, I love it out here. So how how is this town gonna respond to having two of its own playing at USC? Is there gonna be a lot of support? Hell yeah, it's gonna be crazy for that. Newton. That's what I, that's what I love about Newton. Whatever you do, they are gonna support you no matter what. So it's just that they gonna love you. Uh, so going back to the recruiting process, look back on the whole thing. Huh. Was it fun? Was it stressful? How, how do you kind of? It was stressful. Like coaches calling you every 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 day, every minute. It was stressful. And I'm glad I got got to get the chance to just end it all today. When did things really start with USC? Uh I 
talking about like when, I, when they first hit me up? Yeah. Uh, have to be like during football. It was it was, it was during football season. Coach Jinx had called me. He was he was telling me that he was interested in me, telling me I'd be a great fit for the offense. That's when it started. Like it was in the mid season. And did you have immediate interest, or did it take some time to kind of? It took it took me some time just to like, cause L.A. I was like L.A. me. Yeah. I was like nah, I can't I can't see myself. But then when, I, when I got out there, I was like oh yeah, it hit different. How how hard did they kind of push for you over that process? Man, they put, they called me every day. Cause you called me every day, talking to me about life, talking about school, and it's just I just fell in love with it. That with his uh, personality. What, what is your connection with him at this point? Man, cause we we tight. Like this, we like this. Cause Jinx a cool dude, man. He, he, he genuine. He love people, and that's the type of person I am. I just see myself in him, basically. And then I know that Brian Carrington was involved too, uh, more recently. Oh, yeah. BC. What, what, what was his role? Yeah, BC cool. He, he like a he like a big brother to me. Like he come he coming from Texas. I mean he came from, he, he from Houston. I guess you know like he was just telling me like LA LA different. It's different from Texas, man. You gotta come out here. And I believe him, and he, and he, and he showed when I was in LA, like, he was different, I think. So you, you're you leaving your visit, you get on the plane, what are you thinking? Man, I was like, I was praying, I was like, God, just just show me the way. Show me if this is a perfect fit for me, and he did. And then, uh, what did, when did you actually let the staff know? Is what? When did you actually tell the coaching staff? Uh, I told them um, two, two days ago. Okay. I was like, two days ago, I was like, man, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to be a chosen. So in the end, was it the how hard was the final decision? Was, was it close between another school or? It was close. It was close, but I just feel like USC was a perfect fit for me, and I feel like I could just thrive there. And what, what was the runner-up? What do you mean by runner-up? Like the, the the second choice, the, the school oh, year. Texas, you, Texas, UT. That, yeah. Yeah, Texas was my second choice. So you made the big decision to, to go out of state and could, could have stayed in state and done the easier route maybe. And uh, what would what, your family think about all this? Uh, my family, they they, they they gonna support me no matter what. They say whatever you wherever you uh, wherever you go, that's where we go. And I just I just love them for that. Well, just lastly, you as a player, I know you told me last week that you use your physicality, your size, but kind of break down your game for the fans. Uh, my game, I'm big, I'm fast. I can make moves, cuts, if they need me to do, I do. One-on-one, uh, -on -one, I, I most likely win them every time. <laughs> and just, I'm just, people say I'm, I'm fun to watch, so I'm fun to watch. Okay, USC fans will see soon enough, 2022 four-star running back, Anthony Gatson, yes, the newest right Trojan. Yes, sir.